What's going on ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here. How's it going ladies and gentlemen? We have ourselves a very very special unboxing today. Now as you can see this thing is gigantic. I could pretty much set up a fort here but basically what we have here is a care package from HyperX. Now HyperX got in touch with me. They said hey Dan we know you like using our stuff, so we want to send you something. We want to send you a little care pack, so a little goodie bag, if you will. And we want you to share it with your subscribers. So, of course, I got to do that, man. How could I not? So I'm excited to get this thing open. Like I said, man, this thing weighs a ton. There's a lot of stuff in here, so I'm really, really excited to open it. Now, because of the way it's packaged, you have to be very, very delicate. So we've got, like, little clips on the front, and then we also have clips on the back. Now I'm going to go ahead and kind of carefully take this top part off now that we're completely unbuttoned, flip it upside down. Now right off the bat, forgive me, this is quite, the, there's a lot of stuff here. So I'm going to put this piece on the ground. There's stuff in here, but because of the way it's laid out, we're going to open that after. So got a couple of goodies. I'm going to stand this bad boy up for you. First thing you'll notice is a keyboard, a HyperX keyboard, and then over here we have a uh, HyperX uh, mouse pad. So this one must be large considering the sheer size of this thing. It probably, this is probably one of these keyboard, keypads that goes on your uh, keyboard as well. So it's one of those super extra long pads. So therefore you don't lose any grip on your keyboard and everything like that. I, I have a large mouse pad already, but it's not the size of the keyboard. So I'm very curious to see how that is going to go. So let's grab this thing. Again, the packaging is also nice too. That's the thing about it as well. So we're going to take the keyboard out. So it's funny because I was complaining about my keyboard and the space bar not working. So, and the mouse as well. So if there's a mouse in here, I think that'll really help also. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the keyboard. Actually, yeah, we'll do the keyboard first. Okay. So if we take a closer look at the keyboard, it's at HyperX. Alloy FPS Mechanical Keyboard, MX Cherry, and it's MX Blue. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Got that cut. Now it'll slide out nicely. This is just a slip cover. Put that over yonder. Now, uh, which way we got? Okay. So with a little slip here and a slip there, if it'll... No, there we go. Perfect. Okay, this one actually has a little... I'm actually surprised with this. This one's got a little carrying bag. Check that out. That's awesome. So if you need to like go gaming on the go for whatever reason, you just tighten that bad boy up, you slip it in your HyperX bag, and you're on your way. It's a protective pouch, it's got a lot of padding on it, so you'll be covered. So that's really cool. I'm gonna pop this down here real quick. All right, let's take a little look here. All right, so congratulations. Oh, check it out, hold on. We gotta read this. All right, hang on, hang on. Congratulations on joining the HyperX team. Get ready to experience a whole new world of gaming with HyperX. So this is from Anders Williamson. It's a big note thanking, thanking me for joining the brand. Now I already have a bunch of memory in my computer by HyperX. So that, that's pretty much how this all started. That was like my first HyperX product. All right, so I'm gonna be very cautious. I don't wanna break into the keyboard. <laughs> I never broke the last one. It just started going kerfuff on me. So the thing I think I like about this so far is the portability of it. Cause my previous, uh, keyboard was actually, uh, you know, it, it's a, it's a, it's a Razer Black Widow. Now everyone's got the Razer Black Widows. This one seems a little bit different. Like it seems a lot smaller. So if I show you guys, it's a much smaller mouse or keyboard, sorry. Um, it literally ends right where the keyboard ends. That's the thing. It ends here. So there's not really any, uh, wrist lean. You know what I mean? There's nowhere to really, you're just, your, your wrist goes on the desk. So I'm gonna have to see how I like the feel of that. The thing is though, the space bar is actually gonna work as opposed to the other one, which doesn't. So, <laughs> well, it does work, but it's just like really kind of wishy-washy. You know what I mean? So anyways, uh, we can actually swap out and actually gives you a keyboard pry tool. So if you wanna switch out specific keys, to let you know where the main ones are. So like, you know, the most common ones that you use, one, you know, one, two, three, and four, and then WASD. Those are the big ones for your for first person shooters, as you guys know. So you can do that. They give you the option to swap it out with a, a set of red ones if you'd like, followed with the cables that are completely separate 
you know, and they're, they're a nice like red and black kind of stealth thing. They're not attached to the keyboard, like you can, di you can disconnect them nice and easily, which is pretty cool because like I said, my other one, it's completely attached in the front. So that should be a nice addition. So that right there is the keyboard that they've sent. I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough room, but we'll try. Normally this isn't a problem, but it might be a problem. All right, let's go ahead and open up the, the mouse pad now, which like I said, man, judging, yeah, it's a full size one, it shows it. It's massive. So this is the thing to kind of replace, oops, to kind of replace what I was saying, the, the resters. These things probably have like a soft felt rest on them to make life a little bit easier on everybody. Okay, so here we go. Let's give it a pull. I feel, whoa. I feel like this is kind of like a yoga mat almost. All right, let's take a look. Now I might have to move this. I don't even think this is gonna be big enough for this desk. Dude, this is absolutely gigantic. I have never seen a mouse pad this massive before. Look at the size of this thing. Dude, this, are you sure this is not a yoga mat? Like, are, are you sure that this is not a yoga mat? Like, I don't think, honestly guys, it's longer. It's longer than my table here, my unboxing table. So we'll kind of use that to our advantage if we can. Honestly, I don't think this, this might not fit on, <laughs> this might not actually fit on my, my desk, just the way it's laid out. We'll have to try, we'll have to see, but that thing is huge. Look at the size of that. Like seriously, man, this is like one of those Wii, Nintendo Wii things. Super XL, yeah, you don't say, this is a massive mat. So we're gonna be unboxing the rest of this thing on the HyperX mat. So anyway, that was what was on top. Now we gotta get to what was on the bottom. So bear with me here, I'm gonna see if I can find it. Okay guys, so we got the lid off and we have a couple of goodies here. Wow, that, there really were a lot of goodies. Well, because of the situation, we gotta put this on. <laughs> got ourselves a HyperX hat. It is a snapback. Now my head is absolutely gigantic. So <laughs> here's the thing. My head isn't gigantic. I have a long head, you know what I mean? Like goes like this. So whenever I have a headset, I have to set it accordingly. So anyways, now I'm sure some people are gonna make fun of me. So I can either wear it like, like normally or I could wear it swag. You know what, I don't know, or I could wear it like, I don't know, did you, my 90s fellow, my fellow 90s uh, homies out there would probably remember this. I can't remember what the name of the show was, but it went like this. You're like, like okay, our hats are on, locked. And that's what they did. They walked around wearing their hats like that. But you know what, because I'm swaggy, swaggy Q, we're doing that. I don't care, I know my girlfriend's gonna see me doing this. She's gonna be so mad at me for doing this, but I don't care, we're wearing it like this, son. Like, look, come on, hyper X in the house. I apologize. Anyway, let's get on to the next item here, which I, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this because of the theme. We got ourselves a brand new gaming mouse. It's a HyperX Pulsefire FPS mouse. Uh, let's take a look. It's it's simpler. It's a simpler mouse, which is fine because I don't like the ones that are actually just completely ridiculous and they have like a million things on them. What happened to my scissors? There they are. Um, you know what I mean? Like they have like a, they, you can pretty much dial. Uh, your, your best friend from your gaming mouse with because of all the numbers and everything on it I know they're for programmable stuff, but I don't know Ouch, this is really difficult. Like actually this is oh, cut. I Gotta be very careful not to cut my uh, Thing here All right, we're free now this one currently actually looks a lot like my the mouse I'm currently using, but it's the right click is actually starting to go bad. So I've noticed in FPS is when I'm playing, I get like, I have to kind of like, I'll click the right stick and it'll aim down the sights, which is usually what happens in FPS games. Uh, and it'll just like zoom back out again. It'll like fidget like that because it's like not sensing it properly. But look, good Lord, like look at the presentation of this, right? You got the thing and it's like, it's like, will you game with me? You know what I mean? It's like you drop down to one knee, right? Will you game with me? That's how you do it. That's how you need to do it. HyperX, from now on, you should start putting that on your boxes. So like when you open it, on the inside of the box, it says, <laughs> will you game with me? Oh my God, yes I will, oh, of course I will. And then you, you, get, you get to town. So anyway, enough of these lame memes that I'm trying to pull out here. Uh, instructions for the mouse are inside here. That's fine and dizzily. Uh, this mouse, let's give it a yank. <clears throat> it's got a bit of tape on the back. Just a moment. Uh, free myself. The treachers. All right, here we go. So, obviously a wired mouse because that's usually just better. Pretty comfortable fit in the hand. It's. I think this mouse is actually, 
a bit bigger than the one I've been using. Oh, that's always the best, isn't it? That like satisfying peel off, that first fresh new equipment. You guys know what I'm talking about. So anyway, here's the mouse. Right here. Simple design, nothing over the top. Very, very nice looking. I do like it a lot. Uh, simple, like I said, it's it's a very it's one a very simple mouse scroll wheel, middle click, and then the two directional clicks as well on the side. Comfortable in the hands. The the two mouse clicks are actually because they're kind of flat and they're curved. I don't know if you can really tell they're kind of flat and curved, so therefore they kind of form to the fingers a little bit nicer. So they're actually quite a nice feel. It's something I'll have to get used to though, because my previous mouse feels a bit smaller than this. It does, it feels a bit smaller, but hell man, it's easy enough to get used to something, you just gotta keep using it. All right, so judging from things, I'll put that mouse thing over here. We have, we're not done. We are not done, ladies and gentlemen. We have another item, which is what they're mainly known for. Brand new HyperX Cloud Result Revolver S headset. It works for PC, Xbox One, PS4, Wii U. That's funny that they have Wii U, Mac, and mobile. So you can literally plug it into just about anything. So, which is funny because I recently purchased a new headset, but it has a lot of connection issues. That's the thing I'll say. I'll say that it has connection issues because it's wireless. It's funny that the predecessor of it is a better headset than the one that it is. So we're going to take this off. I've never actually tried a HyperX headset before. That's the honest truth. So we'll see if I like this better. Maybe it'll be more comfortable because I'm very picky when it comes to headsets because for long gaming sessions, you need comfort. And I know I'm not alone in saying that, guys. I know I'm not. So, Jesus. Okay, there we go. Box is open. Homeboy's got something as well. The HyperX general manager, Anders again, giving you a big thing. He's letting you know about the headset. Any information you need is all here. Obviously, it's no fun to read that on cam, so we're not gonna read that on cam. But we are going to take out this headset. Ah, cables. That's the thing. I'm not used to cables. Most of my headsets, like I said, have been wireless in the last few years. Here's the microphone. Uh, I think that's about it. So we're going to go ahead and pop this back over. Just get it out of the way. God, there's so much stuff here. Listen to that air. Do you hear that air compression? All right. So let's take a look. Got ourselves the cables here to connect it. I'm assuming you don't have to use all of them because... Well, you don't necessarily, you won't necessarily will be using all of them. Okay, so here we go. Here's the headset now. Let's put it into Dan mode. Yeah, you just, oh, it's just the auto adjust. So based on the size of your head, it could be down here or it could be up here. Well, we know this is, we're going full Dan. Full Dan is long head. So I think I better put this on straight. Here we go, I look like an idiot because of the flat brimness. Oh my God, look at this. Hold on, hold on, look at this. All the way around. Oh, that is lovely. Is there one on the other side as well? Yes, there is. Where's the starter? Where you at, homie? Here we go. Oh, that's nice. Too bad the headset kind of gets in the way of itself. Everybody loves ripping those things off. Okay, so here's the tester. All right. So now, oh, wait, you, you, don't, you don't do this. Do not eat these. I know people do that, but you're not supposed to. So this is going down. Somewhere, don't eat it though, Dan. Trying to trying to remember that. So the headset's on. It's I feel like it's noise canceling. You could tell like things are a little more muffly. I can't really give you a, a quality test yet, but the thing is, this is the thing that's good about these HyperX. If they work on my phone, now this is the beautiful thing. So even if I'm not really ready to switch it up, the reason I I like wireless is because I can move around and do things if I need to and leave the headset on while I'm recording. But if these are nice enough and they're a little more user friendly, a little nicer on the quality, I might switch over to my proper one. And not only that, because like you said, they said they use, they're good for the phone. You could plug them into your your phone or your phone or your music or whatever, and, and use them as proper headset as a proper headset. I mean, I don't see a bag. That's the only thing. I don't see a bag anywhere. But you can just use them like on the plane or something like that. You know what I mean? That's something I don't have. I have these crap headsets, and my ears get really, really sore after a while. And you know, it'd just be nice. The thing is, though, I have an iPhone 7, and I can't use a headphone jack. <laughs> but I do have like computers and whatnot, so like I usually listen on the computers. I don't really listen to anything on my iPhone anyway. So there's there's other uses out there. So I'm just gonna get all this stuff done and kind of fiddle with it and see how we do. All right, so I've essentially got everything set up accordingly. As, I, as you can see, I probably look like an absolute knob right now. But that's okay. 
because I've got everything set up the way I wanted it. Now the cool thing is you can just go directly with this little piece. It's nice and portable. Um, you can plug this into your, you know, whatever, whatever computer, whatever device you have, um, you know, to get the sound out and it'll work fantastically. But, and you, like, a, like your iPod or iPhone or whatever you got, right? But you could also take this bad boy along, get the Dolby, and use the actual Dolby Digital. It's a bit longer, but this is pretty practical. Because, I mean, it's long as hell, but you can just plug this into your computer, which is probably what I would do. Turn on that Dolby Digital surround and enjoy the stuff that you, you, know, you want to enjoy. So I think that's fantastic and easy enough to use. So okay, for traveling, I'll definitely have to bring this along. I just wish it came with a bag. It didn't come with a bag, surprisingly, because the, the keyboard did but you can get a bag easy enough. So I am just gonna go ahead and arrange this stuff accordingly so we can kind of present it to you guys. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the entire set right here. Got ourselves the headset, which I'm actually really liking. What I should probably do is take the hat off and try it with the headset, just simply the headset. It's got the leather padding. It's got massive gaping ear holes. So if you have a big set of ears like I do, it's not gonna be a problem and then no, that's not gonna work. I mean, <laughs> either way, ladies and gentlemen, you get the idea. It's a comfortable set of headphones. I'll have to actually give it a go and try it out and see how I like it. But I have a good feeling about that. You can wear it with a hat on, hat off, your choice. The hat is an optional accessory, ladies and gentlemen. You don't have to do it, but here's what I'm gonna be trying out, I think for the next little while. Get this keyboard plugged in, try the mouse out. See if it's a better choice, better, you know, better option over my previous one. Now, the fact that this is so big, honestly, it's so long, like this way too, that I don't even know, based on the way I'm set up, if it'll actually fit where everything is. Like, I have a pretty large margin, but then all my consoles is there. I'd have to like lift my consoles up. That's the crazy thing. This thing is like the biggest mouse, mouse pad I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. HyperX, all the peripherals that they possibly have. I didn't realize that they made all this many. I mean, I did, but I didn't realize it was this much stuff. And it's like nice too, like this keyboard. I mean, I know I'm upside down, but I do like kind of the small portability of it and the fact that you can easily plug it in, plug it out and take off and give it a couple of extra things as well. Now. The one thing I'm wondering, yeah, see it does have a USB on the top. That's what I was just checking. So you can charge your phone if you'd like to, uh, for, or any extra USB for that matter. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. That is it. HyperX unboxing special care package. I want to send a huge thank you to HyperX for hooking me up. It's so awesome. It's like they read my mind or, you know, they were watching. They're like, this guy's talking about his mouse pad. He's talking about his, his keyboard. He's talking about, not his mouse pad, but his mouse and his keyboard and things like that. And honestly though, like even if, depending on if I end up switching to these full time, uh, either way, I'll have something to bring with me traveling. That's the thing that I love. The fact that they come with a jack that you can just take with it. You know, I can, I, that way I have comfortable headphones to use while I'm on the go and I don't have to suffer with those crap earbuds, you know what I mean? And the noise canceling so you don't have to hear the baby whining, all that good stuff. So making my traveling life a lot easier as well, considering I can actually put this in a bag as well and bring it with me if I really want a game on the go, if I don't want to use the, a laptop keyboard or whatever, I can bring all that stuff with me. So that's pretty neat. Anyway, as I was saying, huge thank you to HyperX for providing all this cool stuff for me. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. And if you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media. Those will be down below in the description and will play at the end card of this video. If you're interested and you want to get yourself a shirt or a hoodie, there's a link to my Spreadshirt shop in the description as well. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Take it easy. Have a fantastic day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content. But until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Who's the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't need violent and hit you. 8,000. Wait a minute, hold that stylist style. Dan. Goddamn, Billy Jack. We still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, sea shots flying. So we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up, and I see them haters. Try to run with us, they don't need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard just like the beta players. Grab your respirators. Night invaders get light sabered. Mass on for the shooters. Move like trash. To bed intruder, got that Glock and got them woofers. Just press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Till you damn fools, keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill. Yeah, it was never ever a game. I'm out.
Will you game with me? Oh my god, yes I will. Oh, of course I will.